Hi. I had a question about my batteries, so I'm going to talk about them today. I have two cheap Walmart dual cycle marine batteries, and I'm going to show you the sticker today. Somebody did, did ask a question on what batteries I'm using. I have shown my batteries in various videos, but I wanted to make sure you get uh, to see exactly what I'm using. I did rinse them off so you can see the sticker a little bit. Um, the way I have my batteries hooked up is I have positive, positive, negative, negative to have a 12 volt system. The negative terminal on this side, on this battery, is hooked up to this bus bar. And the positive from this battery is hooked up to this bus bar. Positive from this battery goes to positive to this one. Negative goes to negative. Now I did clean off the stickers so you can see how long these batteries have been working. This one we purchased in 8 of 15 so that's 2015 and this one is 6 of 16 so that's 2016 so my batteries are 4 and 5 years old this one's 4 years old uh, this one's 5 years old and on my solar coming in I have the plus on one battery and then the negative on the other battery that way it charges both batteries at the same time through the cable system they are not on one battery but I wanted you to see what battery I'm using or batteries um, since these are two batteries and these are lead acid it's never a good idea to discharge them more than 50 percent so basically I have 122 amp hours on each battery but since you should not discharge it more than 50 percent period ever um, basically with both batteries I have 122 amp hours alright I'm gonna make this a short video because somebody did ask a question about my batteries these are the batteries I use if you're gonna try to run a deep freeze or something that pulls a lot of draw always use some type of timer or do not ever run your appliance fully all the time running something like a deep freeze during the day is fine I mean you can let it run as long as your solar can keep up with it at night is when it draws a lot of power from the batteries that's why my deep freeze will be hooked to a solar I was gonna make this a longer video um, and hook a couple things up but I'm going to make that a separate video and I'm going to see what these batteries will do right now. And you can see the sun's not super great. Uh, there is smoke everywhere. Uh, there are wildfires here. And we're getting smoke probably from Oregon and California too. So the sun is not out a lot. So I'm going to test a couple things. Well, at least one thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut this video down. Then I will make another video today. I will hook up my deep freeze and my mini fridge. And I want to see what it will do. I know my solar will barely cover the deep freeze, how much power is pulling. But I want to see what it's going to do. And I'll show you what it's going to do on 400 watts of solar. If the sun is, well, somewhat shining, because I don't know if you can see, it's, it's not real bright out right now, probably because all the smoke. I don't know if you can see the smoke over there or not. Anyway, uh, somebody did ask a question on my batteries. I am using the Everstart 29DC. Uh, it has 845 marine cranking amps and 122 amp hours at one amp and these batteries were like a hundred dollars or something like that 109 bucks with the core charge because I did not have a battery at the time to, to turn in 
I do need to clean them up a little bit. You can see there's a little corrosion right there. Um, it's not too bad. A little bit right here. But it's not generally too bad. I generally try to keep them as clean as I can. Uh, I wanted to try to tip them back for you. But because I have them hooked to the bus bar, uh, the cables are just too tight for me to do that. So, Alright, anyway, here's the batteries. I wanted to show them to you because somebody did ask a question about the batteries I'm using. And that's it for this video. And everyone have a good day. Bye.